elsewhere. Another rare creature lurks in the shadowy forest. Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to tell you about a certain endangered species that I am a part of. We're called the musk deer. Oh and my name is Steven. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to address why the musk deer is so named. Well us male musk deer have a gland on our abdomen that produces a substance called musk. It is used to attract females, but unfortunately catches the attention of another creature, the human. Hunters can be made rich off of musk once they get it, by putting it into medicines and perfumes. That's actually why my kind is endangered, because humans keep hunting us, and taking up and destroying our homes. Speaking of which, we musk deer inhabit a large range of locations throughout Asia. I have friends of my kind in Myanmar, Vietnam, Bhutan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Mongolia. South Korea, North Korea, and Russia. All of these places offer forests with heavy vegetation and cover, which is very important to us musk deer, who always need to keep hidden from predators. But I really don't know if we'll be around in those places a few years from now. If the musk deer continues to be hunted as heavily as it has been, we're all just going to go extinct. And wouldn't that be a pity? I mean... Have you ever seen a deer with fangs? Oh right, I forgot to tell you about our fangs. Well let me assure you that we're not vampires. Like other types of deer have antlers for show, and to fight for mates, we have fangs. Those antlers just wouldn't jive with the musk deer, since, as I mentioned earlier, we live in forests with dense vegetation. The antlers would just keep getting caught on things. Well. I'm getting tired of talking to you, so I'm going to turn it over to my wife, Clara. Hi everyone, my name is Clara. Stephen asked me to talk to you about how we raise our children, since he doesn't know much about it. That's not true. I just have a sore throat. Anyways, the gestation period of the musk deer is 150 to 198 days, about 5 to 6 months. The female musk deer gives birth to 1 to 2 deer per pregnancy. When our newborn are brought into the world, they are very small, and basically motionless for about the first month of their lives. This is a defense mechanism to help keep more quiet and hidden from predators. Of course, our babies will eventually grow to look like my husband or myself, with long and coarse golden brown hair, hind legs one third longer than their front legs, no antlers, and fangs if they're male. They'll also run on their forelegs with their little hoofed feet. Ah, I love babies. Could you be a deer? And also tell them about what we eat while I demonstrate? Sure. I just have to find something to eat. Well we must deer eat things like leaves, flowers, twigs, mosses, grasses, and lichen. Aha, found some. Nom 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 nom. We don't hunt prey, because we're herbivores. However, the musk deer is hunted by a number of ferocious animals, like the lynx, wolf, fox, and the yellow-throated marten. These creatures are always trying to make a meal out of us. Thank you, sweet cakes. You're welcome, my honey bear. Well, I guess that wraps it up. So remember, don't kill any more musk deer, because we're endangered. You can also help us by supporting the programs that extract the musk pod without killing the musk deer. The countries of Russia, China, Nepal, and India have implemented this method, but that's not enough. If people don't start getting serious about helping our kind, we won't be around anymore. Thanks for watching, and have a musky day. Well this ground is not at all comfortable. I'm hungry again. Did I mention we regurgitate our food? Nom 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 nom. Yum, tastes almost as good the second time as it did the first. 